now we talk about you know earning the right to play obviously you have to do the the work off the ball and, and compete um, and when you're individual battles and then once we have possession uh, you know looking to, to keep the ball and make the other team work and, and wait for moments of opportunity to, to go forward and look to get in behind them I don't think today was uh, certainly the first half was not a good performance from us in terms of the possession aspect I think we lost the ball in deep spaces and invited Auburn um, you know, invited some pressure from Auburn and all credit to them, they're fighting for their lives, they're, they're looking to get into the SEC tournament and they came with a game plan and made it difficult for us. I think in the second half we, uh, we moved the ball a lot better and, and controlled territory and created some, some good moments but didn't really capitalise um, outside of the, the one, obviously the finish. Um, and having looked back at the video, it wasn't offside, so we're incredibly disappointed in the referee's decision in that moment, because um, I think that changes the momentum of the game. Um, but I don't think today was our best performance, so obviously a little bit disappointed with that. How are you going to prepare for the next game? Yeah, Ole Miss are, are going to be another really big test for us. Um, they're a direct team. They're going to ask big questions of us from a physical standpoint. Um, you know, again, they're a team that's that's fighting to get into the SEC tournament, so. You know, I think the S is the beauty of the SEC, right? Every game is a big game, every game counts, and um, you know, each team brings a different style, but I think Ole Miss is, is certainly a team that's going to ask big questions of us in the air um, and in direct play, and you know, we're going to have to answer those questions and then look to see if we can get our attacking play um, fine-tuned and, and back to a, a situation where we're moving the ball a little bit quicker and creating more attacking opportunities. you know we haven't lost you know it's another tie unfortunately you know we've had three zero zero ties on the bounce now so while we're defending really well you know we've lost our momentum a little bit on the attacking side of the ball um, so I think it's just get back on the training field get ourselves in front of the goal you know look to, to create some some goal scoring moments and uh, get confidence back in front of the goal and um, and, and we'll go again um, I would just say that I tell myself to be confident and believe in myself. Um, I know I'm here for a reason, and I know I'm on the team for a reason. So if I just believe in myself, then I'll play how I want to. What's the team's chemistry like off the field? Like, do you guys hang out? What do you do? Oh yeah, the team's chemistry is awesome. <laughs> I can't go into too much detail, yeah. but we have good times yeah. on and off the field. Okay, and then um, how are you preparing for the next game? The, game, the score was 0-0, zero, zero, so like, what is your goal or mindset for like the next game? Yeah, so we're um, kind of stuck in this pattern of getting draws right now. Um, I think our defensive intensity has gotten a lot better over the past couple of games, and we just need to get our offense back going. So once we figure that out, we'll be all right. So. And there is a lot of fans out here today. How do those come? Do they give you some confidence and motivation? What do the fans do for you? Oh, the fans are awesome. Tiger, Tiger Nation oh, yeah. is like unlike any other. Um, so when we come out here and see all the fans in the stands, it's, it's amazing.